Yeah, one of the differences I've noticed between American music and British artists um, is that you tend to get more uh, garage bands uh, in the U.S. that come out, but maybe more not classically trained. And there's a lot of classically trained artists that in England and then switch over to more pop and rock. And uh, so it was like an Adele. Um, you know, I'm a bigger fan of like Amy Winehouse. It's a little bit more gritty. She wasn't classically trained. Um, I know that you play a lot of instruments. Would you consider yourself classically trained? Nah, but you're, so. but you're, you obviously are super talented because how many instruments well, do you play? Well, I, 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 the piano, bass, and guitar. Yeah. Um, and you self-taught yourself on all well, of that. Well, no, no, I didn't self. My father was a musician, and my parents put me through uh, lessons. So I wouldn't say I'm self-taught. You learn. I mean, everything's about practice. So you, you, you do your piano lessons, and then I would sit there and practice for hours, as I would with, with DJ. And I, I self-taught myself to DJ because I like playing all kinds of music. Back to you know what I said earlier with Radio 1, it inspired me. And, I, and I, at the time I was in a band, and we were more into the rock sound, and I liked dance music. But at that time, there wasn't dance rhythms with rock oriented kind of songs or guitars and so I later on in life that's what I started to make that's probably why I got asked to work with you too or Rolling Stones or Chili Peppers or bands like this uh, in terms of remixing because I liked both sounds and I could uh, work them I figured out how it could work together and that's how I got offered to produce the Happy Mondays and and it went from there really. 